Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Direct Mapping. Direct Mapping is one of the technique of Cache Mapping. So in this video, I'll be telling you what do you mean by Direct Mapping Cache? Why it is required? What is the distribution of physical address? And I'll be taking one example also to understand the concept of Cache hit and cash miss. Let us begin. As you are aware that cash is what? That is a very high speed memory. The cost of cash memory is higher than the main memory, right? But it is economical in comparison to the CPU registers. So what happened? Whatever the data or instructions which is frequently used by the CPU that is being stored in the cash so that is why there is a requirement of extremely fast memory, which is the cache memory and it acts as a buffer in between the RAM and CPU. But now when we are talking about cache memory mapping, cache memory mapping means there is a main memory, there is a cache memory, the content uh, which is being frequently used that is being copied from main memory to the cache, right? It means mapping techniques it tells us which content of main memory that is being brought into the cache memory. That is actually the concept of cache mapping. Means which block of main memory is to be copied into cache. But there are different cache memory mapping techniques. There are three techniques, direct mapping, associative mapping and set associative mapping. In this video, I'll be talking about the direct mapping. What is direct mapping cache? Direct mapping cache, you must remember that this is the easiest, simplest approach. Why simplest? Because one memory address that is mapped exactly to one cache block. There is not like that one memory address can be mapped to multiple blocks. No, one memory address that is being mapped to single means exactly one cache block only. And when we are talking about the main memory, when we have to read the data from memory or writing the data into the memory, means there is a requirement of physical address. So physical address of main memory, it consists of two things, tags and index field, right? In general, if you would like to draw the diagram, you can say that in general, there are 2 raised to the power n words in the main memory. Suppose we are saying main memory stores 2 raised to the power n words and cache memory stores 2 raised to the power k words. Then the physical address about which we are talking that must consist of total n bits. And out of these n bits, k bits that is being used to access the cache memory. So this is what the index n is the total k bits are required for the cache memory so remaining n minus k bits that is used for the tags here in this particular diagram you can see a relationship is being shown the main memory size is being taken which is 32k into 12 so you can observe that the main memory can store 32k words of 12 bits each 32k words it stores means how many address lines it requires? 15. 2 raised to the power 15 is what? 32k. And data that is of 12 bits. But when we are talking about the cache memory, so it stores 512 words. 512 means 2 raised to the power 9. That is why 9 address bits and data bits of 12. So here you can see physical address means the main memory address total n bits means it would be of total 15 bits and out of 15 bits index bits will be of 9 means from the cache you can say and 15 minus 9 is the 6 bits which is used for the tax. So you must remember what is tag, what is index and how many bits are required to each and everything. So when we are talking about the mapping Mapping means the word store in cache that is what the duplicate copy 
of the word which is being available from the main memory means the data instructions which are frequently used by the CPU that is being stored in the cache but that is in the copied form. So CPU communicates with cache and performs the action. If CPU accepts, uh, if CPU is requiring any data something and that is uh, like being found in the cache means that is the condition of cache hit. If CPU is not capable to find out that particular word from the cache, it means that is the condition of miss. And in that particular condition, that word is available in the main memory, means first it is to be copied from main memory to the cache and then the perform then it is going to perform the remaining action. So I hope now this particular point is clear to you. To understand it is more detailed means as if we are saying one memory block of main memory means that is being copied into one cache but which is going to copy it at which particular location how to understand this right so to understand this here you can see a diagram in this diagram there is a main memory there is a cache memory in main memory there are total 16 blocks starting from 0 to 15 and each and every block can hold four words means 16 blocks and each and every block hold four words means total 64 words in main memory and in cache memory there are total 16 words four blocks and each block contains four words so 16 words you can see here you can see the memory address is being written in decimal and hex hexadecimal also right now let us compute means which particular block of main memory is going to be copied to which particular location of cache so to compute it there is a formula means cache line number this is what equal to the main memory block address modulo number of lines in the cache this formula you must remember and modulo means what this is what the remainder operation suppose if we are talking about memory address 0 it means what 0 mod operator number of lines in cache number of lines in cache you can see 4 lines what is the remainder 0 it means you can see this line is being copied at 0th location. Suppose you are saying first block of main memory number of lines in cache is 4 this is what remainder 1. You can see this blue is copied to this particular location right as you can see this is copied. Now let us take an another example suppose we are talking about this 8th location. So memory block that is what 8 mod number of lines in cache that is for 4 what is the remainder remainder is 0 so you can see this line this is copied to this location 0 right now you can observe for this 10 green one 10 is what 10 mod 4 what you are getting as a remainder 2 so you can see this is copied to at which particular location so this is how you can compute which particular block of main memory is going to copy to a particular cache. So as if I have told you by taking certain examples, so you can compute for all the 16 blocks. So you can observe memory location 0, 4, 8, 12 all maps to cache block 0. Similarly address 1, 5, 9, 13 those maps to cache block 1. Right. Similarly, you can compute for others also. Moving to the next, let us talk about the physical address. As I have given you a brief overview, means it contains tags and index bits also. So to understand about the physical address in detail, let us take the same example. Same main memory cache memory is being taken over here. Main memory it stores 64 words while the cache stores 16 words. Right now, the physical address, its structure that consists of tags, line numbers and block offset. So as you can see in the main memory, there are total 16 blocks starting from 0 to 15, right? There are total 16 blocks and each and every block store 4 words. That is why there are total 64 words. So you can see every block 
each and every block consists of what? Four bits when we have written in hexadecimal number. So block number, this is what the block number, right? This is block number. So this block number is of four bits and block number consists of tag and line number. So if you are talking about block 0000, first two digits is of tag and the next two is of line number. So you can see the structure of physical address. You can see over here tag, line number and block offset and tag along with line number. This is what? That's, this is what? Nothing but the block number as I have told you in this particular case. So you can see in this particular diagram uh, for this red arrow, right? For this red arrow, you can see what is the block number 0000. First is tag and the last two is what? Line number. So here tag will be what? 00. Now let us talk about this blue one, blue arrow. You can see 1101. Initial two digits, this is what? Tag means 11. And next two digits is what? Line number which is being mentioned over here. Similarly for this green one, you can see this is what? Tag 01. And next two is what? 10 which is the line number. Now let us see for this one. 01 is the tag number and 11 is the line number so 0 1 is the tag number so this is how you can write it now for this particular diagram itself how many block lines how many line numbers and how many bits are required to for the tags how to compute it as you can see in this particular diagram main memory stores 64 words since main memory can store 64 words it means this is what 2 raised to the power 6 it means 6 bits are required for the physical address. Block size is 4. 4 is what? 2 raised to the power 2. Right? It means block offset is what? That is of 2 bits. You can see 6 bits for the total. 2 bits for the block offset. Total line numbers in the cache you can see 4. Again, 4 is what? 2 raised to the power 2. It means 2 bits are required to represent the line numbers. Total number of blocks you can see 16. 16 is what? 2 raised to the power 4. It means 4 bits are required to represent the block number itself. You can see 4 bits are required to represent each and every block. And since there are total 6 bits, out of 6, 2 is for block offset, 2 is for line number. It means for tags, 2 bits are required. So this is the same. You can see over here, for tag, 2 bits, line number, 2 bits and for block offset, right? That is what? 2 bits. It means in total, this is of 6 bits physical address. Now let us understand, um, let me give you an example by which you can understand when CPU is asking for any word or when CPU is searching for any word, how that word is being identified in cache. If that is being found in the cache, that is the condition of hit. But how it is going to be identified or understand with the help of an example. Here I have mentioned an example. For this particular case, physical address is being given. What is the physical address? That is of 6 bit 0000001. You know the structure of physical address. First two line, this is for what? Line number, uh, tag. Second two is for line number. And next two is for block offset. You must listen it very carefully. How to search a word or in data something in the cache. First, line number is being identified. Line number is being searched. What is the line number over here? Line number is 00. zero. It means out of these mentioned line number, first line number 00 is fine at this particular location, means for this. Line number 00 identify or it mention, it denotes first line. Now after identifying line number, the next search is for the tag. Tag is what? 00. zero. For this line number, tag is what? 00, zero which matches and when the tag matches, that is the condition of cash hit. If tag doesn't match, that is the condition of cash miss. So here 
tag matches means that is the condition of hit means that particular word is available in the cache memory but which word block is what block offset 0 1 as you can see in the cache one block that holds four words one two three four so four words means here what would be the address 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is for 0th first second and third total four words so block offset is 0 1 0 1 means this it means the data or the word which is stored at this particular location that is being taken from the cache and being executed by CPU accordingly the whatever the function needs to be performed by the CPU that is being done so you can understand this is the condition of hit and in which particular manner the physical address is going to be used and how you can identify and how you can say whether this is the cache hit or cache miss thank you so much for watching this video 